I'm here with Heidi Hemmer, VP of Technology at Verizon, and of course we're going to be talking about 5G. Of course. Um, so, first of all, what's uh, Verizon's commercial uh, approach to 5G? Yeah, so we've decided to launch 5G first in public places, places where a lot of people gather, okay. like here in the convention center or in NFL and yeah. other arenas and stadiums. Uh, dense urban areas, we've launched in 13 cities so far um, to date, and we will have 30 plus by the end of the year. We're bringing it down, as I said, where a lot of people gather, whether it's parks or uh, certain areas of the city, and that really was to bring the magic of 5G to as many people as possible in places where we thought those use cases would make most sense. What technology is advancing the uh, applications and, uh, and, and the use cases for 5G? Yeah, so with 5G we really talk about the eight currencies of 5G, and it's greater speed, greater bandwidth, lower latency, greater security. So uh, it's a completely different technology that is allowing us not just to do things we did on 4G faster, but really, as you said, to unleash new use cases. So in the NFL stadiums where we have launched, for example, we're able to do multiple camera angles, we're able to do real-time stats. Um, if you're a fantasy football fan, you could sit in one stadium watching a game live, but also be able to look at your device right. and see how your fantasy football team is doing that well, day. Excellent, as much yeah. as, as, as uh, I laugh at that, but I think I, I think I might actually use that. <laughs> There's a lot of people I think yeah. that would use Definitely that. Definitely unleashes uh, some possibilities there. Um, what, what, what are some other uh, uh, use cases for uh, for 5G technology as it's, as it's being deployed by, Ver by yeah. Verizon? So one one of the ones that's near and dear to my heart is my daughter has celiac disease. And when she was first diagnosed, I spent hours in the grocery store reading every label looking for gluten. Um, with a new use case that we're trialing, I'd be able to take my smartphone into the supermarket and get an alert as I put it in front of each of the products on the shelf to see which one of them contained gluten. How has uh, Verizon been working with Samsung to make the most of the network infrastructure? Yeah, so Samsung's a new entrance for us, they're a new infrastructure partner. So we have worked for decades with both Ericsson and Nokia. Um, as we moved into this new technology, we knew that Samsung was doing a lot of good work globally with other carriers. And so we asked them to join our technology forum. I think a lot of folks think that you know 5G happened overnight. It's sort of like an overnight uh, sensation in the music world. Sure. They've actually been playing in bars for years and years. <laughs> um, we set the technology forums up about four years ago and invited Samsung as well as the other infrastructure providers um, into that um, venue to start to work with us on use cases we wanted to do and to develop the ecosystem. Not only do we need infrastructure partners, but we also need device partners. Samsung also partners with us there. Um, and then we need application and solution and um, partners as well. And so uh, the five innovation labs that we have is where we all come together. And actually, uh, despite the fact that several of our partners are competitors, we really do work together as much as possible to be able to bring 5G to our consumers and our enterprise customers. Right, it all has to work in the same network. Absolutely. <laughs> um, so what about uh, open applications? How, how does that uh, affect the direction that you're taking uh, with, with 5G? Yeah, so obviously there are certain uh, solutions and products and services that we're very excited about, and you can see some of them in our booth here at uh, Mobile World Congress Americas today, working very closely with first responders to be able to give them information that they need to uh, handle emergencies faster and in a safer way, um, working in the medical space to be able to provide 3D images of um, medical information to doctors who may even be remote, right? Where you'd have an expert somewhere else. Uh, working with a lot of enterprise customers on uh, supply chain and factory applications. Some of those were able to um, do the design and the development ourselves or do them with an infrastructure partner such as Samsung. But many of them we really are inviting other partners in that will develop the application or develop the uh, customer interface for us. Okay, excellent. Well, Heidi, thanks so much for uh, taking some time to speak with us about 5G and, get, and getting us up to speed with Verizon. Great, thank you so much, Phil.